two months ago, there was one show that captured the world's attention. Welcome back once again to Bern, Switzerland. 46 countries, countless competitors, and everyone with the same dream. To win. So, third point, go to Slovenia, Samari, Germany, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Armenia, Moldova, Portugal. But in the end, it was one girl who stood above them all. One girl who didn't just compete. She conquered. She won it all. So we know that Italy is the televote winner of this edition. But let's see. Anna from Italy needs 124 points to overtake Russia and take the win. One hundred. And... Sixty-two points. That means that Italy is the winner. Let the flag parade begin. Moldova. Tunisia. Spain. Lituania. Belgium. Bulgaria. Russia. Norway. Croatia. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. 
North Macedonia. Armenia. Denmark. The Netherlands. San Marino. Malta. Sweden. Lebanon. Finland. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Hungary. The United Kingdom. Belarus. Italy. Ukraine. Romania. Please welcome your hosts, Annalisa and Lorenzo Zurzola. Buonasera a tutti. Welcome to the grand final of the Song 14. What an incredible intro that was. It had it all. The montage from last edition, our Queen Anna coming back to perform her winning hit, as well as the brand new flag parade. Wasn't that amazing? It sure was, and we have an amazing show for you tonight. We'll be your hosts. I'm Annalisa, and I'm also joined by Lorenzo Zorzolo. That's me. We're coming to you live from Rome tonight. And we've already had our 26 finalists perform. Here they are. Let's have a look at the running order. You all should have voted, and the winner has been decided. All we have to do is reveal them. Now to keep you going throughout the show, voting for the Song Awards will open now. There's 10 categories to vote in, including the biggest one of the night, the Audience's Choice Award. Now let's remind ourselves of the countries competing tonight. Let's head to the recap.
Welcome back! It's time to begin the jury voting. We will visit all 26 countries competing in this final and a spokesperson will reveal the 12 points of their delegation. They'll try to be very funny and memorable so that you'll vote for them in the best spokesperson category in the song awards. Link in the description by the way. And this edition we introduced something new. All non-qualifying countries have combined their votes, and they will each present their combined set of votes as one juror. That will happen at the end. So in total, there will be 28 sets of juries tonight. Like the last edition, the jury order has been randomized. Let's head to the first juror of the night, Tunisia. Please welcome the beautiful Aleph Genifon. Buonasera, signora. May we have your votes, please? Good evening, Rome. Tunisia calling. What an honor to be the country that will open the jury results part. First of all, thank you so much for this great show. And congrats to Say for bringing Tunisia in the final for the third time. Let's move now to the voting. These are the first points from Tunisia. And finally, our 12 points this edition will go to... Spain, congrats. We'll head to Moldova next. We have Andrea Bostanica waiting for us. Hello to you, Moldova. Good evening, to my happy days, Yan. I am happy to be here with you left from Dubai. Yama, right, Kishina. I was busy receiving a pocket of 1,000 red roses so I just now printed me monologue script. It says edition 10 on top and lists a million extracts as the contestant. I think it's the right one. This edition was amazing. My compliments to Irfan and Armini for doing such an incredible job as a host. 
Without further ado, let me read that the 12 points from the Moldovan Gores. Congratulations to Belarus. Next, we'll visit Ukraine. The beautiful Mila Jovovich will be presenting the Ukrainian jury points. Welcome. Buenos Aires, Europa. Good evening, Europe. We, the Ukrainian delegation, are thrilled to be here with you tonight. We'd like to congratulate all the incredible contestants for putting on such an amazing show. Our delegation stands together tonight and are excited. And now, let's move on to our results. The Ukrainian jury awards its 12 points to the Netherlands. Congratulations. Let's go to our current leader, Belgium. Hoping to one day represent Belgium in this contest, give it up for Tsar B. Good evening, Europe. Ciao, Rome. It's Belgium calling. I'm Tsar B, and I will announce the Belgian jury points. I participated in the Belgian national final way back in edition six with my song Silver Lion. First of all, what a show. Rai and the EBU really have outdone themselves with this one. It feels good to be back in the grand final after missing out last edition, and we wish Margot the best of luck. On the screen you can see the lower Belgian jury points. But now it's time for our 12 points. Notre Dame's points go to... Norway. Congratulations. Off we go to Hungary, Hungary. After winning a gold and silver medal at the recent Olympic Games in Paris, Christoph Milak will present the Hungarian jury points. Good evening, Europe and Antarctica. I'm Christoph Milak, the guy who broke Michael Phelps' record, but the best moment of my life is being here in the song online contest by ESC Giorgio, presenting the very, very tasteful Hungarian jury points. In the name of Hungarian delegation, I want to apologize, Finnish delegation, because you were so close to get points from us. But the song sadly grew off. Well, we always knew we weren't giving points to Finland, but it's always funny playing with some minds. To be honest this is a great final, so congratulations to every country in the final. Especially North Macedonia, qualifying to the final for the first time with a great song. Thank you God. It was hard to vote, but Hungary decided. And the 12 points obviously go to Denmark. Congrats. Croatia is next. Let's head there now. Not sure why our Queen Anna is representing Croatia, but ciao Anna, what a great performance you delivered earlier. Good evening, Rome. It's your mother Anna who won the song 13, and I'm spokesperson of Croatia now. Congratulations to Celestia who brought Croatia PQR to the grand final. 
It was impressive girl. I mean, last time we were in the final was only two editions before, but anyways. Also, I want to say thank you to all my- Mommy, mommy, a girl behind you. Um, what was that? Anyway, Stream 30 Dexy, imagine not streaming it. And I want to let you know that I won my beef with Bromo's duh. Okay, I'd like to shut up. You can see lower jury points. Twelve points goes to. Andi Ayeyendiaa, Moldova, congratulations. Lithuania is our next juror. And there's a familiar face. From Edition 4, please say hello to Midi. She's responsible for Lithuania's best ever result. First off, all I want to do is thank Beyonce, y'all we need to do this for safety reasons. So, hello beautiful people. How nice to be here in Italy once again feels like I've been on this stage not long ago. Wait, I forgot to introduce myself, but you should know me because I was here while well, not in Rome, but in Florence singing about ghosts. Still no idea, Oki Flops, I am the one only and only the queen the moment, and of course the icon made up. Okay, time to check the script on what to do next. Um, thank cuties from ABU for giving us such amazing contest and best show ever. Um, give a country 12 PTS. Um, okay, so I guess we need to look at the scoreboard. You know, I never did this thing, and I am just reading script, so don't you dare to judge me. Now on screen, you can see the lower points. After this, I will need to talk with Jonas about his taste, but for now, only 12 points left, and with a power in my hand, we'll give them two. The girl who dated a motherfucking monster congratulations Stefan and the United Kingdom. Next stop, Denmark. Please welcome from Metallica, it's their drummer, Lars Ulrich. Good evening, Rome. My name is Lars Ulrich. I am the drummer of one of the most famous heavy metal bands, Metallica. Wait, what do you mean you don't know any Metallica song? I'm sure you do let me play one here real quick. Lars is gay, Lars is gay, Lars is gay, but the gay is gay, Lars is Wait, WTF is this one? How do I stop this? What is that? That is not a Metallica song, and I'm not gay okay I'm sick of this allegations, I'm not gay like Rafiki and Dasmos. Anyways let's ignore this happened, when I saw Denmark was sending a metal band, I knew I had to join in and be the Danish spokesperson. About our votes here are our lowest scores. This was a really unique edition with a lot of amazing songs which sadly we cold vote for all of them. So let's go now. The Danish 12 points go to. The beautiful song of. Belgium. And now you we're going to Malta. Um, it's an honor to have the beautiful Meghan Markle join us. Welcome, Megan. How are you? May we have Malta's points, please? Hello there, I am Meghan Markle. The Duchess of Sussex, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty important. Kill yourself, we don't want an American. Okay, wow, rude. Faggots, you know it, right? Well, I'm here with the Maltese delegation because when they were desperate, I could never. I really need a job, please someone get me one. I could host TSSC. My acting skills are out of the roof like next qualifier is. Azerbaijan. 
See how my acting was good cause that's of course a fake it would never qualify, and to my great 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 grandmother lived in La Valletta, I'm as Maltese as aunt as Welsh anyway thank you for letting me here and for paying me yes thank you I have $10 now please donate thank you. To announce the Maltese lower votes you see them there also constracta what do you mean about my hair I know ITS good didn't need to make a song for it. Disrespectful, I as Maltese declare war to Serbia for all the threats made to myself, you're going down. Anyway our 12 points go to. She wishes she was the moon, I wished I was the queen we all have wishes, they go to Belgium. Congrats Laurel Queen Mom my favorite rat. Onwards to one of tonight's favorites, Spain. And we have a familiar face joining us, finishing 7th in edition 11, it's Paula Sendejas. Hello everyone, yes it's me, Yal's Fav Horse Girl, Paula Sendejas, it is a pleasure to be here back in the final after edition 11, and wow, it's incredible to see how well Spain has been doing since I saved them from PQR. You can feel proud to be Spanish in the song, after whatever was edition 10 and that song by Kelly Roller, she definitely had to roll out of here fast. Yes, we got beef, okay? Oh, and I want to quickly wish the best of luck to Violeta. You go, girl! Now, without further ado, you can see on screen here our jury lower points, and the 12 points go to... The Netherlands! Felicidades! We continue by making our way to Bulgaria. And Valentin Kulagin will be presenting Bulgaria's jury points. Good evening, everybody. My name is Valentin Kulagin, the misunderstood and mistreated VIP makeup artist. And since this will be the last time I'm ever invited to any kind of public event, I want to make a few things very clear. I was the victim in the Big Brother house. Nora, you ugly monkey. I was right to call you my mum Pesho and Papi Hans. I now realize that I did hit and almost broke your nose, but I lied to protect my already ruined reputation. I should have escaped when I had the chance to. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about my awful experience in the house. Now on to the less important part, the points. You can already see some of them on your screens. And the 12 points go to... Belgium! First time in a final, it's North Macedonia. If you didn't even know she was Macedonian, now you do. Please say ciao to baby Rexa. Hey, 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 hey! How's it going? The song people. It's me, Bieber Rexa, and I'm good. Yeah, I'm feeling all right, baby. North Macedonia is having their first final night. Ivona, queen, you made it. You did what other fucking 13 flops couldn't. You qualified and interacted like a lot with the contest. 
We even made it to the Macedonian local news. It's all thanks to my lovely Albanian friends from the delegation. Did you know I'm Albanian? Anyway, um, let's see the lower points. Oh, slay so much taste. Now, why did I accept to come here? I wish I never did it. Please know that I regret it. Oh god, we're twelving some monsters. Congrats, UK. To the United Kingdom, we go. It's been a long time since we saw her, but after competing here in addition to, she's back. Everybody look, it's Celeste. <laughs> Good evening, Europe. I'm so happy to be here once again, even after being so blatantly robbed back in my edition. I might have achieved a top 10 result, but we all know it was me who should have won. One could say my appearance here now would be so beneath me. But I would say it's best we forget the past and celebrate the present, which is hopefully the United Kingdom winning. Best of luck to everyone, but the winner can only be one. So, 12 points from the United Kingdom go to... Finland. Congratulations. Almost halfway through the jury's Kazakhstan. She competed here last edition, finished third, and is here to present the Kazakh jury points. Please welcome back, Krim Plin. Guess who's back, back, back again. Krim. Back, back, tell a friend. Yes, I'm back, thank you. After achieving the third place and the best result ever for Kazakhstan, I'm so back and excited to give you the Kazakh points. We had truly such an amazing final and you love to see the variety. Someone who wishes to be a satellite and it's not Lena. Girls who open their legs for Rico. Lots of trumpets and teenagers that fell in love with dancers just like cutie Noah Pierce from Luxembourg last edition. Bauer Carbon was incredible tonight and what a sexy samurai he is. For real, we have such lovely people in Kazakhstan. Anyways, the 12 points from Kazakhstan go to Shovels as shovels, Romania. Well, we're officially halfway through the jury voting. Let's take a look at the jury scoreboard. In last place, it's San Marino on a big fat zero points. It's been a continuous trend that the automatic qualifiers tend to do poorly in the following edition. In fact, surprisingly, Moldova is the only automatic finalist currently on the left side of the scoreboard, up there in 10th place. Yes, it could certainly be another great result for our Queen Emily Estrade. Three times a participant here and it seems not everyone is sick of her. Let's have a look at the current top 10, all of which have received at least 30 points so far. As mentioned, Moldova sits in 10th, with Bosnia, Finland, and Denmark above. But in the top six are all of tonight's six main contenders. Netherlands and Spain are separated by just one point, with 51 and 52 points each. In fourth place is North Macedonia with 60. Tunisia is in third with 65, but two countries have already jumped out into the lead with quite a sizable gap. That's right. The United Kingdom and Belgium have 82 and 84 points each. They've been neck and neck all night. 
Let's have a quick listen to the current top six. We'll check in with the top two, Belgium and the United Kingdom, after. So I'm here with the current jury leader. It's Margot Riots from Belgium. Ciao. You are looking so beautiful tonight. A lot of people have voted for you tonight so far, including three sets of 12 points. So how are you feeling? Thank you so much. I'm feeling absolutely over the moon right now. It's such an honor to receive such huge amount of points. This whole experience has been incredible, and I'm just so grateful for all the love and support. And... What do you want to say to the jurors that have voted for you? I'm truly honored and grateful. It's amazing to know that my song connected with you. Your support gives me so much strength tonight, and I can't thank you enough for believing in me. That's so kind. What are you going to do if you actually win? If I actually win, I think I'll be completely speechless for a moment. But after that, I'll definitely celebrate with my team and everyone who's been supporting me. And maybe, just maybe... I'll have a little moment under the moon to soak it all in. Well, good luck to you. It's still early days. Who knows what will happen? Can Belgium win for the first time? Now let me make my way over to Caddy. Uh, where are you? Caddy, here you are. You're currently in second place with two sets of 12 points so far tonight and just two points off the leader. How are you feeling? Well, firstly, I'm so grateful for all of the points I've received. Thank you, everyone. So I'm feeling all of the emotions. Excited, happy, nervous, and I guess really scared. I know I've dated a monster, haha, but not knowing what the results are is probably much scarier. Well, Caddy, there's nothing to be scared of. You're doing amazing right now. Well, it was great to catch up with our leaders so far. But, Annalisa, let's head back over to you. We must continue with the jury voting. Thanks for that, Lorenzo. I wish we had time to interview all of the participants. They've all done amazing. But let's continue the jury voting. Next, we'll be visiting Lebanon. Here to present their jury points, please welcome Tina Yamut. Greetings from Lebanon. And for the first time since edition 11, we are back in the final, hoping to replicate Gay's... Oh no, okay guys, I think we are under attack from the IDF and even Golden, oh my lord, send help, please send help now, oh my gosh, send help, send help now, please, oh my god, if anybody listening, my ears hurt so fucking much right now, send help. And the 12 points from Lebanon go to North Macedonia. Congratulations. The journey continues off to Sweden. Representing the low-income earners, please welcome Mireke, the IKEA employee. Hey, hey, I'm Marieke, a proud Swedish IKEA employee by day and the song fan at night. And on behalf of IKEA, I am here to promote our IKEA furniture. Hello, hosts. Yes, you do have a very nice podium. But have you considered buying a podium at IKEA? Very cheap. Not easy to build, but cheap. And all those green couches in the green room. To the next country that hosts this contest, come to IKEA. 
We have couches in all colors for all themes. You can probably see our lower points on the screen now. But if you think I'm just going to announce our 12 points, well, you are mistaken. Because I'm going to give you instructions right now, and you must assemble our 12 points. I'm a country you must find. A piece of flat pack fun. You'll put me together when all is done. Start with B as the sturdy base. Then E slots into place. Add L, like screw so tight. B, E, L, so a G next. Wait, that's not right. Because it's not Belgium, it's Belarus. Yes, our 12 points go to Belarus. It's one country, not two. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Another returning artist that just can't get enough of the contest. Please welcome back Alexandra Matrix. Good evening, bitches. The most beautiful woman from Bosnia calling her to give the Bosnian new points. I want to thank the beautiful city of Rome for hosting such an incredible show. A lot of countries participated but Eknoho is on top ranked. Of course it is Bosnia it all two amazing boss who have the best hair suits I have ever seen. Mate Atsieve our best result ever. Anas here on our screen or can see the your points. And our yet and two points. Go to Moldova. Let's fly over to San Marino next. Are we in San Marino or are we in the North Pole? We have a literally polar bear here with us and it's in a bikini. The delegation must be drunk or something. Considering they only just received jury points, I hope they are. Hello everyone, it's me again now hotter than ever. My plan to rule the earth has failed so I've decided to become the best version of myself. All I want is redemption. I can't remember the last time I felt human. Despite that I'm a survivor, I'm the last polar bear and no one can take that from me. Now I'm planning to move to a new country because San Marino isn't so welcoming anymore. The country that you will be able to find the hottest polar bear in a bikini will be Lithuania. We haven't been here in a while. Romania. He may not be very successful, but no doubt we all know who he is. Buonasera to Theodore Andre. May we have your points, please? Buonasera, Roma. Thank you for this wonderful show. This is Romania calling. I am Theodore Andre and you may recognize me from my outstanding performance in some other competition in 2023. Unfortunately, the EBU has not asked me to return, and I know you all miss my performance. Romania is super proud to be in the final again with Dora Gaitanovici, after our corrupt broadcaster finally decided to try after eight editions in PQR. Anyways, the Romanian 12 points go to Belgium, congratulations, Margot Rocks.
tonight's next juror, Norway. We have an up-and-coming artist, Aiba, join us tonight. The rumors are circulating that he may soon represent Norway. Any comments? Hey, this is Norway calling, or in the famous words of Margot Robbie, Norway. What an amazing show you guys have put on tonight. I wish I could have seen Anna perform live myself. It is so great to be here for another final as always, and have my 15 seconds of further fame. I am also declaring my campaign to be Norway's next entry, so to the Norwegian delegation, I am always here. Anyway, the lower points should have been presented to you beautiful people. And the 12 points from the Norwegian jury go to... España, Spain. To Belarus we go. Welcome back to LSP. LSP is responsible for the best Belarusian result in this contest. A massive second place finish in edition 10. But for tonight, may we have your points please? Good evening Wong, it's Mince calling. Yes, 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 it's me, LSP, and you should remember me from my song, Kotecha, together with Moya Michelle. Till this day, it's still the best result for Belarus, as it should. I wish the best of luck to UG404 and his Russian friend, CMH. Now to the serious part, on the screen you can see the lower Belarusian jury points. Now to our 12 points. The Belarusian 12 points go to... Wait, are you sure this isn't a mistake? Shouldn't our 12 points go to Russia? Anyway, I'm not paid enough to care. The Belarusian 12 points go to... Belgium. Congratulations. Next up, it's the Netherlands. Here to present the Dutch jury points, it's Jeon Somi. She's a South Korean Canadian singer, but her dad has German and Dutch descent. So that's why she's here, on behalf of the Netherlands. Singham. Hey ho, party people. It's John Somi here, and I will present the juicy Dutch points tonight. Wait, is it only me, or is it getting so hot in here? Oh my god, I feel like I'm melting like butter. Oh, I don't get paid enough for this. Guys, go ahead and look at the screen to see the lower points our fruity jury has handed out while I'll devour some yummy ice cream. Anyway, I hope Rani will lick up those 12 points as good as I lick ice cream. I did not get rejected by EBU just for a flop to be sent. So Rainy, you better get those high numbers. Anyway, thank you to Washin for being married to High Puff. Choi Sando, go improve your music taste. Laurel, stop ghosting when and High Puff paved the way. <laughs> now finally, the moment you have been waiting for. The song that made our pants filled with white cream. The Dutch jury has awarded their 12 points to... Army Ukraine has its rush. Bulgaria. Congratulations. The journey continues onwards to Russia. A second place finish for him last edition wasn't enough as Louverens is back. Bonacera. You are looking sexy tonight. May we have your points, please? Hello, Europe. It is me, Louverence, and it is an honor to stand in front of you again, now as spokesperson for beautiful Russia. I hope you have enjoyed the performance of the incredibly hot, 
I mean talented. Valeria Beowulf, Russia is proud of you, and also of the other participants and the EBU, who have put together this amazing show. Without further ado, let's get to the points. The lower points are yours now. Lastly, the 12 points go to Belgium, congratulations! We're almost done. Armenia is up next. Please welcome singer-songwriter, best known for being married to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's Lauren Hashian. Good evening, everyone. What a lovely show is going on tonight. I'm so excited to be here and to be able to represent my Armenian roots. My husband and kids must feel excited for me as well. For those who don't know who my husband is, he's the sexiest man alive. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, the love of my life. He's so sexy and strong, isn't he? Yeah, he is. But by the way, on to the show. You can see on your screen now the first points from the Armenian jury, and I'm about to reveal who'll get the 12 points as well. Are we ready? Okay, let's move on. The 12 points go to... Oh, Finland! We're off to Finland next. And now we have an absolute queen. She tried to represent Finland in Edition 8, and although she wasn't successful, she has still shook her way to bigger things. Please welcome Twerk with Tins. May we have the points from Wajan, your stinky head of delegation, please? Hey babes, it's Tins, the one and only, best Finnish twerk dancer. I'm so happy to be invited to present the Finnish jury points this evening. I participated in Suomalainen in Laulu 3 with my fat banger Hurakani. I finished last, but who cares? I was the star of the show for sure. I'm convinced I would have qualified to the final if I was chosen. Anyways, let's get on to our points. Here are our lower votes. And our 12 points go to, oh my god, is that my best twerk student name here? Oh. Twelve points go to Vinny, Sweden. Kisses. And now let's head back to Italy. Buonasera to Alessandro Bedetti. Italy isn't doing too great right now, but may we have your points, please? Hello, it's me, Alessandro Bedetti. You may not know me, but you do now. Thank you to all the countries for coming to Rome and having fun with your artists. Even if you didn't make it to tonight's grand final, we still love what you brought. Now let's get into the votes, and I know half of you were not listening and were just staring at how beautiful I am, and my silver eyes, of course. Anyway, here are the lower points, and I'm very proud to announce that our 12 points go to... North Macedonia, congratulations on your first final, and good luck to you all in Sunken. Well, we've visited all 26 countries of the competing finalists, but the jury voting is not over yet. 
That's right, Lorenzo. We have two more sets of jury votes to present from the non-qualifying delegations of the semifinals. First up, it's the delegations of semifinal one. You can see their points on the screen now. So let's see. The uh, 12 points of the semi-final one delegations go to... It's Spain. Congratulations to Spain, who receives their third set of 12 points tonight. Let's see how the delegations of the semifinal two non-qualifiers voted. You can see their lower points on your screen now, and as you can tell, it's certainly looking different. Yes, there are some new countries. Now the 12 points from the semifinal two delegations, they go to... Denmark. And that's the end of this edition's jury voting. Who was your favorite spokesperson? Make sure you vote in the song awards. The link is in the description. Shall we have a look at the leaderboard? So in last place, with just six points, it's Ukraine. Uh, is this a surprise to uh, anybody in the audience? And San Marino, who was last at the halfway point, has moved up to fourth last. And Italy, ourselves, the host of this edition, is 18th. Is that too low, or did we deserve it? That's hard to say. Now, let's look at our top 10. Emily Istrait and Moldova are still holding on in 10th place. Bulgaria is in 9th place. What a surprise. The next three countries are closer together, with the Netherlands, Finland, and Denmark, all with over 90 points. But there are five countries that have managed to reach 100 points. North Macedonia, in the first finals appearance, is on a perfect 100. Heavy favorite tonight, and the winner according to the odds, Spain, is in fourth place with 115. Are we going to expect a massive televote result for them? We'll have to wait and see. The United Kingdom is in third, and Tunisia has jumped into second, just six points ahead, on 138 points. But the jury winner tonight, who has continually extended her lead, is Belgium's Margot Reitz. Let's listen to the top six one more time. Welcome back. What an incredible top six. So unique and diverse. I'd love to know how Margot is feeling right now. Lorenzo, have you found her? Yes, I have. Hello, Margot. It's good to be back here seeing you again. Congratulations on winning the jury vote this edition and in the process, setting the record for the highest jury score ever. How are you feeling? I'm overwhelmed with joy. Winning the jury part is such an amazing feeling. It's like all the hard work and passion I put into I Wish I Was the Moon has truly been recognized. I couldn't be more grateful to the jurors. It means the world to me. Uh, thank you, Margot. Now, back to Annalisa. While tonight is about the 26 competing countries, we can't forget the other countries that participated in this edition. It's time to find out how the non-qualifiers did. Let's have a look. Oh, 
Well, that was definitely crazy, wasn't it? Commiserations to uh, Poland and Ireland, who finished 11th in their semi-finals. Although, the gap between them and 10th place was very different between the semi-finals, weren't they? Well, yes. Ireland was 24 points away from qualifying. Meanwhile, Poland had the same number of points as 10th place, but lost the tiebreaker and thus non-qualified. Ouch, that's gotta hurt, doesn't it? Imagine being so close, literally the exact same score. So sad. It is, but it's time for more important things. We're about to find out the winner of this edition, and we'll be doing the same system we used last edition. Yes, Lorenzo. Tonight, we'll begin the televote by announcing the points of the country that received the lowest televote score, and working up that way. That means the last country to receive their televote points will be the televote winner. Yes, I think it's much more exciting this way, so shall we begin? The country that placed 26th or last with the televote received just four points. And that country was... I'm so sorry, it's Armenia. Well, that's not great for Armenia. No, it really isn't. Last edition, Armenia placed in the top six with Lily Morto's Lily Lily. And this edition, they sent Lovi Lovi. Unfortunately, Lovi Lovi didn't do as well as Lily Lily and got a low, low result. Sad. Moving on. Yes, please move on. Will Armenia finish in last place? They certainly will, as the next country who placed 25th with the televote received 13 points. And that country was...
Kazakhstan. Another automatic qualifier not doing too well. Well, this was only Kazakhstan's fourth appearance in the final, so I'm sure they were happy to be here regardless. I couldn't agree more. Placing 24th with the televote and receiving 21 points. It's another automatic qualifier. Sadly, it's Italy. Certainly disappointing. Um, we've placed in the top three for the past two editions, and I must say, it really was an honor to host the show here. It really was. Looks like we may be headed towards the bottom three instead of the top three, but hoping not. The next country that will receive their televote points received 32 points from the public. And they were... Emily Istrate from Moldova? Well, while the juries ranked Moldova up in 10th place, perhaps the audience weren't too happy to see Emily back. At least she will always be a winner. And the 96 points she received overall tonight is certainly more than when she was back in edition 11. So this is her second best result. And Moldova's third best ever. Moving on. In 22nd place with the televote and about to receive 44 points. They are going to... Hungary. I'm a loving dancer. She might love the job around just high. I stop dancing. Hungary's top 10 streak does come to an end tonight. But considering their head of delegation's goal this edition was just to qualify, I'm sure he is pleased with their result. Now, the next country to be called also received 44 points from the audience. And that country was... Ukraine. Considering Ukraine was last in the jury voting, I'm glad that the audience favored them a bit more. Yeah, there always needs to be a complete flop each edition for everyone to be amused at. And we already had Armenia. There are 20 countries left to be called. And the next country received 47 points from the public. In 20th place with the televote. It's... Romania. Go Romania. I was really rooting for them to do well this edition, and they jump up into eighth place right now. Me too. It had been a year and a half since they were in a final. I was just happy to see them here. We continue receiving 49 points from the audience. Who will that country be? Um, I'll tell you.
it's Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia jumps into the top six for now, but with 18 countries yet to receive their points, where will their final result be? Let's keep going and find out. We've reached the 50s, so receiving 50 points, it's a... Uh... Belarus. I swear this is the part of the show where I tune out. The fun of laughing at flop countries is over, and we're just waiting to hear the top countries. I agree, so I'll keep going. Um, one point more, so receiving 51 points, it's... Um... Malta. Not bad for Malta, who finished 22nd in the juries. I know that after being stuck in PQR last edition, they're happy to have come this far. So congratulations to Nova May. You definitely did Malta proud. Now moving on. Receiving 55 points from the televote, it's, uh... Sweden. That's okay for Sweden. They'll certainly do better than they did last edition. Well, Sweden has still never placed in the top six, despite four top ten appearances, and I seem to remember last edition, the host saying, maybe this time Sweden can finally make it. Uh, well, they did. Did not, that is. So I'll say it again, maybe next time. They can try by sending a better song. Maybe next time indeed. This next country received one more point than Sweden, so 56 points from the public. Those points will be going to... San Marino. Not bad for San Marino. An average televote result, but their poor jury score means they won't make the left side of the scoreboard. Eh, that's so sad for them. Their streak of top six performances has come to an end as... Well, looks like you can't send the same song for three editions and expect good results all the time. We're almost halfway there. Receiving 57 points from the audience, it's... Norway. Norway jumps into fifth place for now. Norway hadn't technically qualified with a male artist since edition eight, so it's been a while, but congratulations to Teo. Now the next country also received 57 points from the televote. And that country was... Lebanon.
The odds were against Lebanon this whole edition, but here they are in the final with a respectable result. Congratulations to Adonis and Marita Halani. They will have achieved one of Lebanon's best results ever. That leaves Croatia and Russia as the lowest ranked countries yet to receive their televote points. And I can confirm that the remaining 12 countries all received at least 60 points. So the next country that is about to receive 64 points, it's... The United Kingdom! That was definitely shocking. Third place with the juries and 12th place with the televote with less than half the points. That's certainly a big difference. It is, but no worries for Caddy as she's jumped into the lead for now. So if you want these to be the results and Caddy to be the winner, take a screenshot and stop the count. The next two countries we'll be announcing both received 65 points from the public and the first one of those is um Bulgaria Bulgaria jumps up into third place for now. What an amazing and deserved score for Gary Nicole. Indeed. Now Bulgaria's previous best result was champion back in edition four, which placed eighth. Can they beat that tonight? All right. The next country that is also about to receive 65 points from the public vote. It's... Russia. Russia has been such a strong country in this contest, and that score will almost definitely bring them another left side result on the scoreboard. So well done to Beowulf. Her song Holod was great, but maybe if she had sent Holod no, she would have done better. Well, Guma already did that, and it was an excellent winner, wasn't it? I still stream it every day on repeat. Shout out to Lorat. It really is one of the best winners of this contest. Enough focusing on the past. Back to the present. Placing ninth with the televote and about to receive 67 points. Uh, it's going to be... Um, Croatia. Wow, Croatia, who could have expected that? Celestia jumps into seventh place for now and will no doubt finish higher than their predicted 15th place that the odds had them in. Well deserved. Druga Osoba, what a bop. There's only eight countries left that haven't received their televote points. Um, Belgium and Tunisia, our jury top two, are still waiting. But on the other end of the leaderboard, Lithuania, who was 12th in the jury voting, hasn't been called. So it's going to be a big jump whenever they do. So let's continue. Now receiving 77 points, they will be going to...
Lithuania. Wow, what a score for Lithuania. And they indeed do jump up the leaderboard into fifth place for now. And I think with that score, Lithuania is guaranteed a top 10 finish tonight. Yes, yes they are. So congratulations to Lithuania, who will have a new best result tonight of 10th place. Their previous best result was 11th place in edition four. How amazing. Moving onwards, in seventh place with the audience and receiving 79 points, it's... Finland. Finland jumps into second place for now. Congratulations, Dramila. It will also be a top 10 finish for Finland. In fact, their first one since edition 10. Yes, Finland has been such a strong country in this contest, so it's good to see them do well again. Ladies and gentlemen, and children such as Guido. There's only six countries that haven't been called, six contenders. Belgium, Tunisia, Spain, North Macedonia, Denmark, and the Netherlands. Any of you can win this contest. But I'm about to rule one of them out now, placing sixth in the televote. I, with 93 points, they're going to go... <laughs> the Netherlands. Well, 93 is an absolutely great score. But I think the Netherlands was expected to do a bit better. Yes, Lorenzo. Even though Ronnie jumps into second place for now, the odds had consistently predicted the Netherlands to be a winning contender, or almost guaranteed a top six finish. But unfortunately, this score means that with five countries yet to receive their Televo points, they will be missing out on the top six, something they haven't achieved since their win in edition five. We have more points to give out, so about to receive 99 points, it's going to be Spain. Spain jumps into the lead. We have a new leader. That's definitely another surprise. Spain was the heavy favorite to win tonight, expected to win both the jury and the televote. Unfortunately, they did not live up to those expectations, finishing fourth with the juries and fifth with the televote. Uh, a bit robbed, I'd say. Um, Violeta definitely deserved more. The good thing is that Violeta has still achieved Spain's second best result ever. And that's so good. They'll be back in the final next edition for sure, so I look forward to seeing what they bring. There are just four countries waiting to be called. Shall we continue? Of course, Lorenzo. We must keep the show going. The country that plays fourth in the televote and about to receive 100 points is...
Belgium? What? This is crazy. Our jury winner has been called. Belgium does take the lead again with those 100 points, however. It's actually quite uncommon for the edition winner to have won both the jury vote and the televote. And it, for sure, won't be happening this edition. Well, congratulations to Margot Rotz. You have achieved an excellent score. But the real question is, can any of the remaining three countries overtake Belgium? We have Tunisia, North Macedonia, and Denmark. One of these four countries will be the winner of the edition. Look at them on the split screen. Don't they all look so good? Look at the flags on the cushions. I think with a solid score, they all have chances. Chances, you say? Those cushions sure do look comfortable, too. Well, let's continue, shall we, Annalisa? About to receive 106 points and placing third with the televote. These points are about to go to... Tunisia! Into second place for Tunisia, and what a result. The audience is going wild in the arena. Very understandably, the audience love a good Italian song, seeing as they are Italians and Safe from Tunisia has provided that to them this edition. I mean, I'd never have expected that Tunisia would send the best Italian song in an edition. I mean, neither do I. One of the most random language and country combinations so far in the contest alongside Vietnamese for Germany. But now, Tunisia has a great chance for a new best result. Can they beat fourth place? Well, it depends if either North Macedonia or Denmark will overtake them. All right, so the country that placed second with the televote has received a total of 113 points. Whoever it is, it won't be enough for them to take the lead. Yeah, that's right. Um, but these points will be going to... Um, North Macedonia. What a score for Ivona Joe from North Macedonia. Their first ever final, their first ever top six finish. Am I right? They sit in fourth place, just one point below Spain. And now here we are. We're at the final two. It's between Belgium and Denmark. One of these countries will walk away as tonight's winner, the winner of the Song 14 and the hosts of the next edition. First of all, Denmark, congratulations on winning the televote. Well done to Siamese. Now Denmark needs 165 points from the televote to win. Yes, 165. It may seem like a massive amount. But considering Belgium set the record tonight for the highest jury score ever, it means it could be possible that Denmark could also come back with a huge televote score. So let's find out. Uh, Denmark, the public, uh, has given to you.
100. And 16 points. That means that Belgium is the winner. Congratulations to Margot Rotz for a well-deserved win. I can't wait to head to Belgium next edition. And here she is to join us now, Margot Rath. Tell us how you're feeling. And also look at that trophy. Doesn't it look good on you? It truly has been given to the person that deserves it most. Wow, Aya. I am. I'm absolutely over the moon. Winning this contest feels like it's like a dream come true. It's surreal. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. I poured my heart into I wish I was the moon. And to have it recognized like this, it's, it's just beyond anything I could have ever imagined. I'm so grateful to everyone who supported me along the way. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a moment I'll cherish forever. Margo, this win was so well-deserved. And yes, you should cherish this moment forever. Definitely. I mean, I won't forget this moment, and I didn't even win the contest, but I did host it, alongside the beautiful Lorenzo Zirazola. It was an honor to be here uh, with you, Annalisa. And thank you to you all, the audience, for joining us tonight. Yes, the audience. They've been absolutely great. And I know they're dying to see the split results, so you'll be able to see them on your screen now. And boy, are they juicy and detailed. That's it. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. It's been such a pleasure talking at you for an hour and a half. That's the end of the 14th edition, and we'll see you soon for the next one. So if you all, the audience, would like to join us and compete in the contest, you can join our Discord server and apply. We are always looking for new participants, so join now and show your interest and we might select you. Otherwise, make sure you stay updated with the contest, subscribe to both the ESC Giorgio and the Song YouTube channels, as well as our spin-off contest, The Song Global. It's happening right now. Congratulations to Laurel once again for her second victory. And we can't wait to see you in Belgium. At least on the stage.